This is a perfect raid. Perfect. 10 out of 10 raid. We got the floppy crate, dude. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Here we go. Now it's totally empty. Let's take this infected box. Let's take it from our chopper. Hey, yo, yo, guys. It's me, Episarik, and welcome back to Last on Earth Survival. So right now, we are going to be raiding this base, Wick D. So I've done some research on it, and by the looks of it, I probably raided this base in the past. So I don't know why I keep getting the same bases that are raided in the past, but I'm still not sure what kind of loot I'll get here because... I don't remember. So let's just jump beside. And also, if I remember properly, I will be able to get some gasoline from this chopper. So that's why I took here two stacks of empty bottles. So let's just open up his chopper and maybe maybe I'll be able to steal some gasoline. I usually don't do that stuff. But yep, this dude is going to have a lot of and a lot of gasoline. So hopefully two stacks is going to be enough. Wait, our two stacks uh, are going to be exactly full full chopper, right? Isn't it? Yeah, 40 bottles of gasoline is going to be exactly full chopper. So I totally stole full chopper of gasoline. Probably going to leave that just in the chopper and that's it. So we also, by good old tradition, we're going to go and loot this chest and this chest is going to be totally empty. And if I remember properly, I'll just need to place two C4s. So first C4 is going to go over here on this wall. Boom. We're just going to just destroy this wall into tiny smithereens. Hopefully. Oh yeah, zombies did spawn. Okay. So we're going to deal with this web of zombies and after that I will have to go and place another C4. Well, so far everything looks fine. I just have to be really cautious and not explode stuff that I don't have to explode. I am going to place another C4 over here though and then inside I'm going to get a lot of and a lot of other cool stuff but I don't know that we're gonna get a lot of firearms, but other than that, I don't know if I'll get there anything else. Well, in any case, I'm not sure if this raid is even gonna be worth it to C4, so we'll have to check it out. Well, whatever, these dudes are totally shredded into tiny smithereens. I don't have any more C4, so I can relax because I know that I'm not gonna explode any unnecessary world. so inside walls inside of this chest, we're just gonna get two packs of cigarettes. Not a big deal. Inside of this one, we're gonna get a couple of seeds. Totally don't care about that. Here, we're gonna get uh, six canisters of gasoline and plus coal pattern that I already have into engine parts. Wish I did this right on my new account. And also today, we're gonna grind in my that new account there. And I'll try my best to unlock the chopper because I want to get the chopper ASAP. It's really sad to play without the chopper in that account. I'll be able to do way more stuff when I unlock it. But more on that a bit after. Now let's just focus on this raid. I don't think there's anything else to steal. I mean, these this dude has like two white paints, but I mean, let's take them. But if I find something better, I'll definitely take something better. So now I'll go and destroy this trunk, right? So inside of this trunk, we are supposed to get at what 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 look at that what we got so i think this is my like what third raid in a row where i get these firearms i think i'm getting pretty pretty lucky and i'm not gonna be doing here any suicide tricks because i'm not that greedy everything is going to be fine i don't need to go and get more stuff from the base i'm already happy with what i got i'm not sure if it's gonna be still worth it like two c4s like this amount of guns like we got here about eight guns like is it really that much worth it probably and also i'm gonna get rid of the gasoline here because whilst 40 bottles of gasoline is a lot but if i'll get more fire arms i'll just ditch those gasolines as uh, these aren't canisters of gasoline these are just bottles of gasoline so i will also go and destroy this rack here we go rack is the rack is destroyed into tiny smithereens couple of melee weapons not a big deal and i think that now i'll damage the rest of the chests here so here we go, all of these chests are just one hit away from being destroyed, so I think I'll start chopping down from over here, and another wave of zombies is going to spawn, so I'll be able to steal some sort of a tactical set. Probably gonna take it instead of this SWAT set, because this SWAT set is about to break like 50% durability, like definitely full tactical set is gonna be more worth it than this broken SWAT set. To make things even cooler, it would be... Okay, I will definitely take it right now, but to make things even cooler, it would be really awesome if I got here some first aid kits. So I'm not sure, like the big one is gonna spawn right now here any moment, and we got some iron, some steel, and other cool stuff. Very beautiful, very beautiful. So inside of this chest, we are gonna get some baked beans. Okay, so now I have three chests to open up, and the big one is gonna spawn now any moment. So I just have to be ready. Like, what am I gonna ditch? And stuff like that. I'll still be able to troll the big one around the base. So, hey, let's just prepare it. I'm gonna heal up fully. Here we go. Inside of here, uh, some first aid kits. Yes, inside of here, some of that garbage. And inside of here, some of that. So, I'll definitely have to come back here for the first aid kits. So, what I will do right now is troll the big one around the base. I'm gonna hop inside and I'll take like a couple of stacks of those first aid kits. And taking those patches would be cool as well. Because I think this dude had some patches and will be able to craft a couple of bandages with those patches. So, hey, I'm gonna exit the base somewhere from over here. Well, I'm deleting all of these level 1 hatches because I totally will not need them. They are super cheap, just a couple of wood. So hopefully my sprint skill is reset. So let's just hop now inside of that base. Gonna activate the sprint skill and I'll try my best to steal all of those uh, first aid kits. Okay, dude, just go, go, go. Here we go. Oh yeah, I have the sprint skill activated it. Let's go over here over the top and let's take these first aid kits, the bandages. And the dude is gonna have some patches 
Definitely gonna take all the patches and probably could have taken some thick cloth, dude. But you know, okay, gotta heal up. Bear almost died there. That was super kind of scary. Yeah, but in any case, I think it's all fine. I don't need to take there anything else. We could take a couple of fur, but I think already we have like chunk of fur at the base, and I don't really use much of those sets. So this base definitely gets Sykes approval. Also, I was able to craft here 14 extra bandages with those pieces of cloth, so it's pretty cool. So I've spent here now around five minutes searching for another dungeon, and I cannot find anything. So this is going to be literally last location that I check today and after that I am gonna give up on these dungeons at least for today because sometimes I spend here 30 minutes searching for them and I cannot find them and this is just seriously a huge huge waste of time and I don't want to do it so we're just gonna drive around and as soon as I find here a chest that means dungeon did not spawn in this location so please be here and as you can see, there is the chest. That's it. There is no dungeons. I'm getting out of here. Okay, so my bunker alpha has reset in this account. And the point is, I have a lot of green and orange tickets. I have like probably over 200 green, over 200 yellow, maybe even more. So I decided that, you know what? If I'm not doing bunker alpha, I could at least go and open up these tickets. But usually I'm just lazy to go to that bunker alpha. But hey, let's use up these tickets. We're gonna get more weapons. So why not? So inside of this green one, we're gonna get an AK, dude. Like this is so rare. We got an AK inside of the green one. And inside of here, we got a shotgun with a Glock. Very nice. And at the same time, it's pretty worth it to kill the blind one so right now i'm just gonna go activate here hard mode bunker we're gonna go destroy the blind one in the tiny smithereens just to get 10 red tickets and some of you might be like sayak why aren't you doing the full bunker alpha and the point is i have enough resources i do not have to do full bunker alpha i don't even have to go and kill the blind one i'm just gonna go destroy him because he drops 10 red tickets so why lose those 10 red tickets but other than that i have enough resources probably for a few months without doing that bunker alpha so hopefully that clears some of the confusion because whenever i skip uh, bunker alpha like that and I go straight to wait the hard mode bunker some people think that I'm a complete idiot that I have no idea what I'm doing I'm just explaining here for those who are confused so right now let's hop and let's destroy that blind one I mean let's destroy him just like that so here we go, we just destroyed the blind one here into tiny smithereens. We got his head, very nice. We got some red tickets, beautiful. And the point is, I realized that to destroy the blind one, you actually need here two guns, right? Because you need one to get to him and another one to destroy him. So that means you need six guns in total to get 30 red tickets. And I don't really know how much worth it is that. Like, I feel like we maybe are wasting here a little bit of weapons if we are just killing the blind one. But I mean, 10 red tickets are kind of cool. So right now we are here at this infected forest and I'm going to go and try to kill the witch. I mean, we are gonna kill the witch. I'm not gonna try it because I tried to log in into my new account, into my level 57 account. I thought we're gonna grind some bunker alpha and bunker alpha is still not reset. I still need to wait one hour for that bunker alpha to reset and this is really annoying. So today, I think we're just gonna grind over here. We're not gonna go to the new account. So now let's go. Let's deal with the witch. I believe we're gonna deal to her. A little bit of damage. I took enough weapons. I took enough uh, SWAT sets. I mean, one SWAT set, that should be enough. Here we go. So now we're gonna wait until the wave of zombies is gonna spawn. First of all, I'm gonna deal with this disease wolf <laughs> stupid stupid diseased wolf so yeah now i'll try my best to go and gather as many of these zombies as possible into one circle and i'll try to not mess up this spread shot just like that didn't i mess it up probably not really but there's still so many of these dudes so i'm just gonna use here my ak because why not ak is cool as well what's annoying is that these zombies don't do a lot of damage but they still eat up my swat set because this swat set i mean it has some durability but the point is it doesn't matter how much damage uh, another dude does like as long as it's like at least one damage they chip away the same amount of durability from my SWAT set. So when there's like 10 zombies doing one damage, that means they're taking away 10 durability from my SWAT set. That's really annoying, but whatever. Here we go. Let's deal here with the witch into tiny smith. The rings. We're gonna destroy her one more time and that's it. Hopefully she's gonna drop her head because I think I've gotten only one head from the witch because either I wasn't lucky enough or I don't know. Whatever. Here we go. Let's deal with that. Now I'm gonna wait until my sprint skill is gonna activate here once again and maybe this time I'll be able to damage more zombies because uh, so far far okay the game is even lagging dude do you can you even imagine uh so many zombies that game even lag so here we go gonna go like this gonna here activate the sprint skill and now spread shot in all of their face was a good spread shot yeah this was probably one of the best spread shots that i have done in a really really long time here go let's deal with those another one and probably gonna take here nak more uh, of those and now yeah i'm just gonna probably finish that dude off here with my shotgun here we go she's gonna lose both of her arms probably because we're using shotgun on that bada bingus one is dead another one is gonna be shredded let's heal up because that will be sad. And that's it. All of them are just dead right now. Look at all of these zombies coming in. But it will be easy to deal with them. Because they are roaming zombies. And they are pretty slow. And look at what we are going to do. Just like that. Here we go. Very beautiful. So here we go. All of them are totally shredded. And if you're interested on how to kill the witch without spread shots and stuff like that. Without any active skills. Then... 
click on the top of there in that i card and there you will find a video on how i killed the witch with using grenades and stuff like that so who would have thought we're gonna be doing raid number two today so let's just hop inside of this base and again i've done some research on it and i'm not really sure what kind of loot i'll get all i know is that i can use 2c4 so i'll try to use 2c4 and i'll open up as many chests as possible and maybe maybe i'll be able to get something cool maybe i'll come back home empty-handed who knows but i'm willing to take that risk so first of all i'm already greeted again with this chopper that stands here on the ground without level 3 floor i have no idea what's up with that well in any case let's start raiding this base and hopefully this is the same base that i have seen because it might be totally different okay now nah, this is gonna be the same base that i've seen so i'm gonna go there to the top and i will use those 2c4 so it's kind of weird that you know such a dude was able to build so many level 3 walls but he still didn't unlock the chopper you know you know Whatever, I do know that I'll have to place a C4 over here. So here we go. This is where I will place my first C4. And uh, then I'll check out where I'll place my other C4. So that wall is destroyed. And I thought I placed it on the door, not on the side of here. I totally did not mean to place it over there. So hey, kind of messed that up for some reason. And again, it's not my fault. This is how my dude placed it. Whatever, let's deal with this wave of zombies. We're going to destroy all of these chests. And I think... I will place one more C4, not on this wall, but on this wall, if I'm not mistaken. So here we go. Another wall is just gonna go boom. And how many chests we're gonna get inside? Uh, yeah, we got a pretty decent amount of chests here. So hopefully I'll be able to chop down all of these chests before the blind one spawns, the big one. But I believe that it's not gonna be possible. So we'll have to troll, uh, we'll have to troll the big one a little bit. But whatever, here we go. All of these dudes are shredded at the tiny smitheries beside this one floater bloater. We're gonna destroy him. So I don't have any more C4s. I am safe. I can start opening up the chest and let's go inside of the first chest. We're just gonna get a bunch of baked beans so great always wanted to get these baked beans thank you so much and inside of this one we're gonna get one vss very dope and i think let's just damage these chests with three hits so all of these chests are just one hit away from being destroyed so let's check out this trunk first and inside of this trunk we're gonna get a little bit of batteries another swat set definitely gonna probably maybe even take it with me because i mean my current swat set is pretty good i don't want to change it here we go let's take this and uh, i don't know if i'll be able to chop down all of the chests but hey i'll do my best there's this iron pickaxe not gonna bother about it i mean we're gonna take stack of this because it's pretty cool it's definitely gonna help me out crafting these first aid kits for the raiders and let's take that another wave of zombies let's deal with them just like that so so far i do not know if this raid was worth it i mean there is one saw blade maze let's take it because why not so inside of this red chest a katana let's definitely take this let's take my electronic circuit okay this is not revenge raid so that means oh yeah these aren't my electronic circuits and my heat sensor so whatever you know what let's destroy one more chest inside of here more batteries i mean more iron definitely gonna take that but this isn't something that i want to take because like i said for some reason batteries stopped giving me great great loot like i don't know when was the last time when i got like copper bar from stack of batteries like i usually get nothing i recycle stack of batteries i get 50 scrap metal and that's it i don't know if i'm the only one or they nerfed batteries but really before batteries were super cool but right now like batteries are so lame that it's just waste of time to recycle them but it probably is just me because i've heard you guys saying that uh, you recycle stack of batteries and you like get five or ten copper so that's very nice but something happened with my recycler <laughs> and i don't know why i don't get any batteries anymore i mean i don't get any more copper bars from the batteries but let's stop crying over here and let's keep opening up a few chests because there's still a few chests left right so yeah i think i picked up everything and uh yeah let's go into this room i mean there's still a couple of more chests so inside of this one we are gonna get a bunch of berries dude are you kidding me Ooh, this is not what I want to take. So I think I will chop down all of the chests now and I will just see what I'll get. Turkey, definitely going to take the turkey here first. Eight kids, dude! We're going to take that. Oh my goodness, this is going to be Gucci raid. Going to get out of this base. Here we go, the big one is going to spawn over here. And yeah, I'm just going to go. I'm going to leave the base. I'll try to clear my inventory. We're going to get a bunch of eight kids and turkey, dude. This is a perfect raid. Perfect. 10 out of 10 raid. Could have probably used only one C4. Didn't have to use that other C4, but... So, I do not know how much more stuff I have to delete, but I'm gonna be happy if I'll go inside here. So, I don't know if I have my sprint skill. Maybe I do, maybe I don't, but I'll try to go around the base right now. Let's go up inside and let's get all of this great loot. Another great base. Like, I think I'm super lucky because I haven't gotten these great base in a really long time. I mean, a couple of past raids were really great, but it's really good to get these good raids now, okay? So, I'll try to maybe deal with these toxic bombs. This way, it will be safer. This way, I'm not gonna get blocked, so... Okay, so the big one is over here. I'm gonna exit here the base once again. So let's hope inside, baby. The fun begins. Gonna activate here my sprint skill. Another toxic bomb. Are you kidding me, dude? I just wasted my sprint skill. Ah, this is super annoying. But Sire killed the blind one. This way you will raid the full base. Yeah, right. 
Well, I really hope, yes indeed, my sprint skill is reset. No more Toxica Bombs because only two Toxica Bombs spawn. And now I'm just gonna run and hopefully I will remember which chest was it. Here we go, baby, baby. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I just want to get inside of that room and that's it. So where were these first aid kits? Here, no. Here, yes, let's take all of these first aid kits. Dude, can you stop please chopping that down? And also, we're gonna take more turkey. Should I take more turkey? Obviously, what, what kind of a dumb question is that? Look at how many first aid kits I got. I can't believe, dude, this is so beautiful. I totally do not remember what I've left in my chopper. So here we go, load in. And my chopper is filled with good stuff anyway. So gonna start running. And I'm gonna take as much turkey as I can. And that's it, I really don't need more turkey. Like, I already have full rack of turkey at the base, but again, the more the better. Let's run a little bit. The blind one, the big one is literally behind me. I can smell him, dude. I can literally smell him over here. Nothing. Where is that? Here we go. We are going to take more turkey, baby. Yeah, that's it. This is as much as I could take. Those seven aluminum bars are going to be very useful. Goodbye. <laughs> Seriously, one of the best bases I've raided. Like, this amount of first aid kits is going to last me for a really long time. So... Perfect raid, definitely gets Sykes approval. So now let's check out how many of these repair kits my raiders are gonna take because sometimes they just take one repair kit. Is this a joke? Yeah, probably they're gonna take more. Yeah, five repair kits, take it and get out of my base. Probably just gonna give them one electronic circuit, but, but it doesn't matter. It's really the same at the end of the day. I'm just giving up. I've spent here another probably 10 minutes searching for some dungeons, even though I said that I'm not gonna do them, but it's so hard to find them. I'm just seriously wasting my time here, spending like tens and tens of minutes searching for that dungeon, getting nothing. You know what? <laughs> This is last zone that I'll check seriously orange zone. Please give me the dungeon. Give me that lurker That's all I want and then I'll stop last dungeon last place that I check for today That's for sure. I'm not gonna be checking anything else go on go on, please Okay, I'm gonna sit here on my chopper and please no chest. Please give me the dungeon. That's what ah <laughs> No, okay green stone zone. This is totally the last one. No, I already see the chest there. That's it I'm getting out of here I'm getting out of- get out of my face, dudes. That's it, that's it, that's it. So I am angry right now, and the point is, we're gonna start doing here hard mode bunker, third floor, at least fully, because this way I'll be able to get my floppy crate, more C4s, and so go on, because I wanted to go and grind bunker alpha today in my lower account, because I wanted to unlock the chopper, but my bunker alpha isn't reset, I'll need to wait there for quite some time, and, uh, yeah. So why not do hard mode bunker here in this account? Let's do here a little bit of wall tricks here on these frenzy giants with the shotgun. Who <laughs> wall tricks with the shotgun? Only here, only right now. It would be really cool if I could maybe gather more of these dudes and then do like spread shot on all of them or use grenades here. But again, I'm gonna save up grenades for the... So yeah, we're gonna save up those grenades for the police department. And uh, yeah, now let's deal with this exploder very quickly. I mean, these AKs should help us do this hard build bunker just like that. And also, you know what? Speaking of the Sector 7, because next update is gonna be coming out probably this Monday, where it's gonna be Sector 7 update. That's what developers posted on Twitter, Discord, and all of their social media. So we'll see how that's gonna go. And the point is like right now, tasks are really, really hard to get your tactical backpack, at least from the things that I've heard that you'll need to craft a lot of stuff. So uh, before it was easier to get your tactical backpack, right now it is pretty hard. So I would say that that's not really that cool. Wish Sector 7 was a bit easier for everybody because I think everyone, deserves getting a tactical backpack but like sector 7 tasks are really hard and you need to communicate there you need to play with other players and not everybody has friends and not everybody is gonna have enough time to organize and let's say kill that miner because probably one of the tasks is gonna involve killing the miner at least I guess that I'm not sure so yeah getting tactical backpack is now way harder maybe they're gonna change something there that would be cool but in any case right now we are gonna go and destroy this explorer with my AK that almost doesn't miss very cool they're beautiful through the gate here because through the gate we're doing here way more damage to these frenzy giants than if we unlock the gate so e e e. i should probably sneak out behind someone but whatever maybe we're also gonna do here the second floor because i mean why not it's not like i do will we do the floppy crate today dudes i just realized that let's do the second and third floor and we'll open up a floppy crate you might be like Sirek, are you kidding really is this birthmas this is seriously birthmas and for those who do not know what is birthmas this is gonna be birthday and christmas like birthmas pretty cool right yeah definitely very cool <laughs> not cool at all <laughs> let's go let's deal here with this frenzy giant just like that with another wall trick and definitely yeah, yeah yeah today today we're gonna be opening up floppy crate and hopefully i'm not boosting here hopes too much because i mean if i'll do the here the second and third floor and if i won't be able to open up the floppy crate if i won't get enough items then it's not my fault but if we get here the floppy crate then i will definitely open up here the floppy crate is that a deal do we get a deal hopefully <laughs> probably we didn't get a deal 
Oh, let's take the Glock here. I was like, okay, that's low durability Glock. Not gonna take it. But then I'm like, dude, that's a Glock. So let's take this bad boy. Boop. Wish I had more AK so that I couldn't even bother. Or more Uzis. Like, these Uzis were super cool. But I just ran out of all of my Uzis. Like I said, Uzis are cool. Like, they're cool to mod. But I don't think a lot of people have Uzis. Like, they don't usually drop that often everywhere. Well, in any case, let's deal here with these Frenzy Giants. Just like that. Into tiny smithereens. Yep. Another notebook. Very nice. These notebooks give so much experience there that this is just beautiful. And inside of this chest, we're going to get one more grenade and a Glock. So how am I going to take all of it? I don't have space, dude. Okay, we're going to do like this. Very nice. Now let's activate the terminal. Let's open up the door and there's going to be a lot of Frenzy Giants. And I still need like about 40 or 50% of hard mode items to get that floppy crate. So I believe after this uh, third and second floor. Wow, why so many notebooks? As you saw, these two toxic spitters dropped me to notebooks. That is beautiful. Usually they just drop these uh, ID tags, but this time we got notebooks, so that's nice. Maybe even after this floor, I'll be able to get and open up that floppy crate, but we'll see. Probably yeah, after this third floor, I'll be done fully. I'll go and try to give all of these items to the specialist, but I doubt it. Here we go. This frenzy giant is going to be shredded into tiny smithereens. Bada bing is another notebook. For some reason, I'm really, really lucky with getting these notebooks. The more notebooks, the more certainly we'll be able to open up that floppy crate. Now, another frenzy giant just like that. Yeah, my AK is just going to break, so we'll have to do here a little bit of the wall trick just like that. Oh, no, pretty cool. AK survived. Let's open up here another locker because sometimes these lockers are gonna have some sort of like chevrons notebooks or whatever other great stuff and inside we got a notebook oh oh what is this day is this a notebook day also we're gonna loot this locker 20 grenades and inside we got id tag well almost 20 grenades maybe even better than 20 grenades hmm okay we're gonna hide behind this wall and we're gonna do the wall trick over here just like this pretty cool Pretty beautiful. Saves so much time. Here we go. This frenzy giant is shredded in the tiny smithereens. Another notebook. Dude, how many times I said notebook here? Well, in any case, no matter how many times I said notebook, smash that like button. And if you're not subscribed, then seriously subscribe to the channel. And again, some of you might be like, well, joking. Ha ha, Cyrek, joking about like buttons. Ha ha, I'm not going to smash it. No, guys, but for real, smash that like button because it's always nice to see when you guys are enjoying the video. And if you're new to the channel, then why not smash that subscribe this way, you're not going to miss any my any of my future videos. And uh, yeah, now let's keep dealing with these dudes. Toxic abominations, exploders. Ugh. Here we go. Let's deal with that. Let's deal with the exploder. Super beautiful. Wait, there's another dude that I didn't loot. Yeah, probably it's just going to be that oil. And yes, indeed, this is just oil. Whatever. I mean, Glocks are pretty strong for the hard mode bunker as well here. And the point is, Glocks are strong everywhere, not only for the hard mode bunker. So whatever, we're going to deal with one more exploder, a few extra zombies, and we will be done here with the third floor. And after that, we'll see if that will be enough items. I should have saved those AKs for this big room because it's going to be harder to deal with a lot of zombies there, especially in hard mode with the Glock. But I still think it's totally possible. You know what? I'm trying to try to deal with this. Why is he fast already? Dude, be slow. Why are you fast on this thing? Okay, 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 okay. I'm not gonna give up that easily. I am fast as well, dude. Here, go try to catch me. Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit of a hit. That's fine, not a big deal. I'm not planning here to run around this full place. I don't care. Don't look like I want to place chase and tag right now. I just want to do it as fast as possible and open up my floppy crate that I promise to you. I'm going to keep my promise. And I'm like, just say goodbye, guys. I gotta go. <laughs> and no floppy crate. Uh-oh, 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 I don't have first aid kits. Let's take this. I think I'm gonna die, dude. No, whoa, 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 that will be sad. Whatever, that one Glock should be enough for this room. And the only thing that I don't like about this room is that look at how many dudes there are. Why I didn't take my uh, spread shot here. That would be worth it. Whatever, we're gonna deal with them with the Glock. Look at my shoes. I don't have any shoes. That's why you can't look at them. Okay, I'm hiding here behind the wall. Pretty cool. So gonna take here that. Gotta change it. Gotta take here another Glock. And now just spread shot in their ugly face. Just like this, dude. Here, we're gonna survive a little bit. And yeah, gonna finish them off just like this with the Glock. Little by little. Super beautiful. Super amazing. Professional wall tricker. Only here. Only right now, baby. Yeah, they seriously, they don't do any damage for me here at all. It's perfect. Here we go. We're gonna deal here with the Toxic Abomination. Destroyed now with another Exploder. Yeah, probably gonna take now another Glock just in case if my Glock breaks and then I'll die from his explosion. So here we go. This dude is destroyed. Let's take all of the stuff from them. And I got only one red ticket and no notebooks. Okay, so I think my notebook lock has run out. Okay, in any case, let's try to loot these chests in the hard mode bunker sometimes. They're gonna contain something cool as well. It's always worth it to loot all of the chests in bunker alpha. I usually don't skip any of them. A hammer, dude! Dude, yay! That's what I always wanted. Woke up today in the morning and I'm like, damn, dude, that would be so awesome if I got a hammer from Hard Mode Bunker. And I did. My dreams are coming true.
like literally. Whatever here, we're gonna open up this door so that it's faster. And we're gonna deal now here with another exploder. So hopefully that will be cool. Okay, what is this powerful shot? I have no idea what it does. Oh, we just pushed that exploder away. Pretty cool. Didn't even know it. Whatever, let's deal with another toxic spitter. Boop, boop. Let's activate here this uh, terminal. Let's take now one more. Uh, yeah, Glock. Gonna deal with these exploders. And hopefully this is gonna be enough for my floppy crate. I don't wanna do the second floor. I'm a bit lazy to go for the second floor, to be honest. But again, at least this is Iron Mode Bunker. At least this is not Simple Bunker. I like doing it way more than Simple Bunker 1. Can't wait for the summer update. Can't wait for the new content. Because like I said, been doing that Bunker Alpha for like two years now. <laughs> Basically every two days right now. It's a bit boring. So maybe new content will let me stop doing that bunker alpha every two days. And now let's loot this last chest, I believe. Should we go and deal with these zombies? Yeah, probably that's what we are going to do. Let's take here the spread shot. And inside we got a red coupon. So yeah, going to take here the spread shot. Going to take all of these zombies right now. Going to hide here behind the wall. They're just like this hiding spread shot in their face. And now one like this. Okay, I'm totally naked. They are gonna destroy me. But hey, my Glock is gonna deal with them pretty quickly. And uh, yeah, we were done with them and I got nothing. Okay, they seriously dropped nothing. Dude, is that even real? Whatever, let's loot here one more chest. Let's take another Glock in my extra pocket so that it's not empty. And inside we just got one more Chevron. And that's it, dude. This is the moment of truth. If I'll get my floppy crate or if I don't get my floppy crate. My floppy crate. So specialist there is just thinking how could he reduce the price so that I don't get my floppy... Nah, there's no way we'll get the floppy crate. I'm sure about it. We'll need to go to the second floor a little bit. We got the floppy crate, dude. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And like I said, so see you guys next time. We take your promises, floppy crate. Yeah, yeah, don't worry, guys. We're gonna do the floppy crate. I'm gonna keep my promise. Just for you, baby. We're opening up this floppy crate just for you. Dude, shut up. I don't care what you have to say here. You're still the biggest scammer. I don't care. What do you think what we're gonna get? You know what? Bet, place your bets in the comments down below. Are we gonna get their infected box? Are we gonna get a grenade launcher? Because the point is, my only question there is if I'm gonna get there a grenade launcher. Like, I don't care about anything else. If we're gonna get here a grenade launcher, then this day is amazing, right? If we're not gonna get there a grenade launcher, that means this was the worst day ever. But again, we got two great raids. How can I say that this was the worst day ever when we seriously got, like, probably 10 guns and, like, over, like, 100? How many? I think we got, like, probably, what, 250 or maybe 308 kits? I didn't count them, but we got a lot of 8Ks, dude. Okay, so I gotta get back to the base, sort out my inventory, and then we'll go to this uh, floppy crate. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I'm gonna be happy with anything we get, like infected box, floppy crate, whatever, 2C4s, always great. And I have no idea what happened with these floppy crates, because sometimes when you get an infected box or something, you're just gonna get one piece of SWAT armor. I'm not sure if that's broken or no, but hey, it's definitely sad. Okay, before I go there, I'll try to go and wash my chopper. Do I have enough water? Yes, indeed, I have five bottles of water. Let's go, let's wash it. This is seriously the best idea that I that I realized in a really long time. This way, I seriously can just wash my chopper. It would be super cool if we had this rain catcher implemented inside of the garage. That would be really beautiful. Like, this way, I wouldn't have to keep my rain catcher outside over here. But hey, like, I can always wash my chopper. Because I think we can both agree that if you don't wash your chopper, it's gonna be pretty ugly. And you wish it was always clean. But it just takes time to get to your base, get water, blah, blah, blah. So I think this idea is pretty cool. I'm pretty sure a lot of people already were using that, but... So in any case, let's just hop inside of this floppy crate location right now. Probably we're just gonna drive to the to the floppy crate because what if it's an infected box? Okay, dude, no, don't exit! <laughs> I just want to drive there peacefully. I don't want to aggro too many zombies, but this is what happens. Whatever, here we go. Gonna sit now back on my chopper, gonna find the right place. Oh, we can just slow down. We can turn off the acceleration here a little bit. And uh, let's go like this, baby. Where is my in infected box? Ooh! And plus, there is a poppy. Yes, yes, we're gonna pick up a poppy. Otherwise, you're gonna kill me once again. Here we go. Let's get out of here. Let's deal with these two dudes. Poppy, we're gonna pick you up. Don't worry. I will protect you. Bobby the dog numbered like 59 or something. Here we go. Let's take the German Shepherd. Oh, let's deal with this dude. Let's deal with another dude. And this is seriously, guys. Floppy crate just for you. Infected floppy crate. Infected chest. Whatever. Let's put it on our chopper. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna sit on it right now. Now and let's get back to the base. It is just for you. No one else, just you. But all jokes aside, I just want to thank you for all your support on this channel, for watching my videos, for leaving comments and stuff like that. It is really cool and pleasant to see guys that you're enjoying the videos. <laughs> so this infected box is for you. Okay, so now let's go and empty our stuff. Here we go. Do I still have enough stuff? Yeah. Here we go. Now it's totally empty. Let's take this infected box. Let's take it from our chopper. <laughs> Why am I crying? So now let's place it inside of the acid bath. Bada bingus, this is your infected box. Let's give that boop. And inside, we're gonna get an MGL, a VSS, a SCAR. 
This is seriously very cool, except that we got only one SWAT uh, armor, but I think this is like the best floppy crate that you can probably get. I don't think uh, the floppy crate can get any better. Like this is seriously the top floppy crate. Beautiful, like seriously, this is very beautiful. And this is just because it was your floppy crate. So, you know, I think I'll be opening up uh, more floppy crates in your name. Maybe this way we'll get better loot. So we got here a couple of MGLs, maybe gonna use a couple of them on these raiders, a few of them for the police department. So I listened to check it out this last dinner survival video where we did an impossible raid. Or click here on the second card and you will go to my Visage Let's Play, it's a really really cool horror game. Or hop over to my channel, go to playlist and there you will find a lot of other games that I've played here on the channel. And if you're not subscribed yet, definitely make sure to drop that subscribe button and notification bell to not miss any future videos. Smash that like on the top and peace out.